That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a <laughs> same <same> person. person. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you really don't have to be a psychologist. Or a psychiatrist just know that people are insane. Sceneries. They just look gorgeous. I saw something like this in the museum display. Oh, you did? This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now, it's doing nothing. Hmm. Oh, there's a console. It looks like there's a part missing here. Of course. There's a gap. Looks like a life crystal would fit perfectly in here. Looks like a life oh, crystal would okay, fit perfectly Okay, we need two life crystals and another part of the machinery. Just great, inventor. Robbins. We've got to try and turn on the inventor's machine. It's the only way to find out what it does. What do we do? Search all these islands for a part when we don't even know what it looks like? Where are all those helpful hints now? The hints were about things they deliberately hid to keep them safe. But this missing part, what if it was stolen or just corroded away? Then all of this would be for nothing. Boston, somebody knows what the missing part does, and maybe even where it is. Well, I don't know. I wasn't talking about you. Hmm. I was talking about somebody who was sealed in a crystal pyramid. Thanks. I don't know what to do with this device. It's 
sorry, Bird. You'll have to find a new home. really taking form. You can almost see the door. Uh, the tomb spire. Yeah, tell us about the great machine. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. The eye, does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? The machine generated this eye. The eye sees into all space and time, and where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... You think you are stronger than all my people? Even they, the strongest race known, could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid, if you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. Please, don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the piece? Go the to the map with this message piece, man. and see what it shows you. Oh, we got another rod. Thank you for helping us. Help yourselves by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. You don't have the strength to return from that place. And there it is, the creator's engraving. So let's get back to the map.
There it is. It's on this island, even. So that's where the part is. Assuming he gave us the right code. Oh, well, wouldn't he? We have to go through the nest again. There it is. I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place. We'll see. Do I still have enough crystals here? I do! Oh, bring. Where have you been? Where have we been? I need your crystals. All of them. Right now. Mm. Come on, Brink. How many crystals can one man use? <laughs> Not for me, you fools. I need them for my machine. For science. Research. Give them to me! Machine? What are you talking about? I'm through talking! I'm not going to let anybody stand between me and the greatest scientific achievement in history! I only have these few crystals left, Brink, but I'll be glad to share some of them if you want. All of them! You didn't <sighs> share anything, Lo. I took them! And it's a good thing you didn't fight me. I would have killed you to get these. You would have tried. You would have tried. You two will be nothing but a footnote in the annals of my achievements. He didn't damage the machine part, did he? Yeah, but still, we need the life crystals, so... Duh. It fits, but the machine still doesn't work. Did the alien lie to us? Or does the machine need something else? Looks like a life crystal would fit perfectly in here. I guess I'll take this with me. Oh, just great. Now we have to go find Brink again. Oh, this is just know, super annoying. Get away from here! I won't let you break my life crystal machine! No, oh, of course. 
We don't want to break anything. My machine isn't working yet. Yes, gloat if you want to. I've studied all the inscriptions. Maggie's not the only one who can decipher strange languages. I followed the plans I found, but there's still something missing. And without it, the machine won't work. So if you think you can steal my life crystals again, Commander Lo, think again. I'll kill you first, and believe me, no one will ever revive you. Actually, you've robbed me twice, and I only robbed you once. <laughs> so you're still one ahead. Don't joke with me! Don't joke with him, Boston. Don't joke with him, Boston. What are you doing here? I have no need for your help. Brink. I think I know what piece is missing from your machine. How can you know anything about this? You're not a scientist. You're just a strutting tin soldier. I think it's the same piece that the eye generator needed. And you're just a German mad scientist. I think it's the key to all this technology. The alien inventor hid it because without it, none of the machines he considers dangerous will work. Why would the creator of life crystals think they were dangerous? Because the crystals make you feel so good that they take over your life. All you care about is getting more of them. He said it was the second worst mistake he'd made. And the worst mistake? The eye. So you and Maggie, you keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> but you plan to make an even worse mistake. I'll make you a deal, Brink. Yes, like the deal you made before. I keep my part, but you go back on it. I didn't go back on it, I just wanted to talk about it with you first. No deals with liars and thieves. Brink, you need what I have to make your machine work. But if it works, then you'll have plenty of life crystals, right? You could share them with us and it wouldn't cost you anything, right? If you have the missing parts, yes. That's my deal. Your machine, my part. 50-50 on the life crystals. I know you plan to cheat me. We won't even come near the machine when it's running. You divide up the life crystals. Then what's to stop me from keeping them all? Because I am trained as a military man, Brink. And if I ever actually decide to fight you, I don't care how strong and healthy you are. You will lose. And then I will take them all. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Get your missing part and put it in my machine. Even liars and thieves can bargain as long as they watch each other very carefully. So then... Half the life crystals, Brink. Remember? You don't scare me, you hairless monkey. <laughs> you hairless monkey. It fits perfectly. This is how the aliens designed the life crystal machine to work. Nothing's happening. Yes, it is. It's vibrating. Be patient. Who knows how fast it's supposed to work? We'll just have to wait. Suits me fine. We split them 50-50, right? Of course. 50-50. Look, there's one! And another! Two. Is that all? Just two? I need more than two! I don't know about that, Brink, but it's a sure thing I need more than one. You still have all the crystals you stole from me and every other place on these islands. 
Don't touch them! 50-50, you said, Brink. Well, you must have hundreds of life crystals. It's not even 50-50 if I take these two. I knew you were a liar and a cheat. You weren't gonna let me have even one of these. I'll make the machine even better. It will produce more. Not till we're gone, it won't. I need that machine part to run the eye generator. You will take nothing from this machine, you lying thief! Once the eye is working, you can either come back with us to Earth, or you can stay here, take the part out of the eye generator, and put it back in your own machine. Just have a little patience. No! My machine is stopping! Stopping! You've wrecked my machine! You're a dead man! Brink, please. We don't have to fight. You can have the part back after we're done with it. Everything you say is a lie! Maggie, tell him. If you say a word, Maggie, I'll kill you too! Brink. Don't make me hurt you. You won't hurt me when you're dead! Brink! Ah! Ah! Oh, Maggie, please believe me. I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want him dead. It wasn't Brink who died here. Brink died when he fell down the hole when we first arrived. What just fell over the cliff was someone else. Someone alien. Created by those death crystals. Maggie, are we making an even worse mistake? By activating the eye? Staying in this world any longer than we have to, that's the worst mistake we could make. We've got to do anything we can to survive. But what if we die trying? Don't you get it, Boston? This place is worse than death. I'd rather die than stay here. Whew. Now let's get back to the cathedral spot. Crystals Brink died for. The alien was right. This thing has already killed one of us. But it's back in place. Robbins. You're the one who read the alien books. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. But there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. The alien warned us it might cost us more than we expected. What does that mean? It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. You mean he booby-trapped the thing? I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. 
It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. I just want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die, and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Don't revive me. Do you understand? Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, Maggie. And vice versa, okay? All right. And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm gonna be really ticked off, Maggie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Here we go! Here goes nothing. is restored. Worth it then. Go home. Oh, Maggie. Yeah, if I had any life crystals left, I could revive her now. But, uh, yeah, she would realize that I used some life crystals on her and um, then would just run off a cliff and kill herself again. Um, it would lead to an alternative ending, but uh, I don't have any life crystals here anyway, and she'd be pissed at me, so I don't do that. And instead, just honor her last wish. should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. Hmm. But the good thing about light bridges is you can turn them off. That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will get out into space time six. I will bring the people of this place back home and they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth.
I guess this is the real test. Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Can I go into space-time six and still find my way back to reality? Only one way to find out. And here it is. It's beautiful. A guy could get lost here real easy. No. No, I'm not going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. You show us all the pathway back to life. To reality. To a place where we will someday die, yes. But we will have a life before we die. Every past and future. I can see them all, but which one is real? Go back now, human. Take me home. My people have their bodies, their bones, their lives again. We owe you a great debt, Commander Lowe. All I want now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Wait! Don't go back there! brought you a gift. Maggie. Frank. You're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Yeah, now she smiles at me. <laughs> and if I'd revived her, she'd slap me in the face. <laughs> Maggie. I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? <laughs> Ta-da! No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I know, Boston. You kept your word. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're... No, it wasn't me. And I'm free what? of the madness oh. of the crystals, too. What the... What the F happened to you? Though. No, it was our friend here. No, the credit belongs to you. No, it was you. No, it was you. No, it was me. No, no, it was mine. Because he opened the door to the really unchanging eternity. Cliche, but you never mind. opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you there. But we can come back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. You are a young people, strong and full of hope and passion. We have much to teach you, and you have much to share with us as well. There will be friendship between our species forever. I hope you're right. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. <laughs> All young species are alike that way. But don't worry. If any of your people try to pick a fight, we'll mash them like bugs. Well, How comfort. reassuring. Yeah, come for The ship is almost ready. Go home and tell your people what has been accomplished here. Telling the people, that's Maggie's job. And getting us home, oh, that, was, that yours. was yours. You did it. You did it. Boston. Oh no! <laughs> thank you, Boston. We all thank, thank you, Boston. Boston. <sighs> Isn't it good to be me? 
my god, yeah, the ending really is a bit over. And that's it.